Live from America's news headquarters, I'm Robert Gray. Florence slamming the Carolinas with torrential rains, intense winds, and life-threatening storm surge. As fears of catastrophic flooding grow, thousands have been forced from their homes, and many don't know when they can get back to survey the damage. Well, everything in our house will be ruined, I would imagine. It's just stuff. You know, we're, we're safe. Our lives are here. You know, it's just stuff. It'll be replaced. Despair. Uh, but, you know, what can you do? I mean, there's really nothing. It, until this goes away, we can't do anything about it. At least 11 people have died so far as crews rush to rescue people trapped by fast moving floodwaters. Some areas have already been hit with up to two feet of rain, and forecasters predict another foot and a half is likely over the weekend. Back to the show. Former Secretary of State John Kerry accused of undermining the Trump administration after admitting that he has met with Iranian officials three to four times since leaving office, reportedly trying to save the nuke deal and telling America's enemy to wait out the Trump presidency until a Democrat is in office. Wow. Here's Kerry on The Daily Briefing with Dana Perino. When I met with the Iranians, the policy of the United States was still to be in the Iran deal because the president had not decided and had not pulled out. Mm -hmm. Secondly, every secretary of state, former secretary of state, continues to meet with foreign leaders, goes to security, security conferences, goes yes. around the world. We all do that. And we have conversations with people about the state of affairs in the world in order to understand them. Mm -hmm. We don't negotiate. We're not involved in interfering with policy, but we certainly have reasonable discussions about mm -hmm. nuclear weapons, the world, right. and you China, have different policies, uh, obviously. The White House blasting John Kerry. Here's Secretary of State Mike Pompeo on Friday. What Secretary Kerry has done is unseemly and unprecedented. This is a former Secretary of State engaged with the world's largest state sponsor of terror. And according to him, right, I don't you have to take my word for it, he, these are his answers, he was, he was talking to them, he was telling them to wait out this administration. It's inconsistent with what the foreign policy of the United States is, as directed by this president, and it is beyond inappropriate for him to be engaged in with me now, Fox News Chief National Correspondent Ed Henry. And the president says this is an illegal act. There's the Logan Act, very, you know, long uh, ago law, very rarely uh, enforced, uh, that basically says you cannot negotiate with foreign governments and undermine the American government. Do I think John Kerry's going to go to jail? No, it's not going to be enforced. Well, they hit Mike Flynn pretty hard on that, they, didn't they? They hit him on that. He didn't. That's not what he got in trouble but for, but they, they raised it with. as an issue, and you're right. right. So there's hypocrisy by Democrats. Here's John Kerry's problem. Mike Pompeo quoted him, which is that he told Dana Perino, wait, you know, I told the Iranians and others, wait out Donald Trump. So, yes, he's right that former secretaries like Henry Kissinger, they've been giving speeches and having meetings for years, for years and years. But what's different is that he's trying to undermine the current administration. By the way, he went on Bill Maher, I think, last night and said that the President Trump is has the insecurity of a teenage girl. <laughs> I'm waiting for Madonna and others to call that out as sexist. Have another women's march. Right. Get the pink hats. And go after fall John Kerry. a bicycle or something like yeah, that and as break his arm. Of State. Yeah. But I but did that when I was a teenager. Be consistent so. and go after a Democrat once in a while. All right. New Paige Strzok text that mm -hmm. broke this week. These are pretty big. Here's Strzok saying, quote, I had literally just gone to find this phone to tell you I want to talk to you about media leak strategy with the DOJ before you go. There it is. And then Strzok to Paige saying, next, article is out. Well done, Paige. Out of boy. Way to go. Here's the problem. Uh, Peter Strzok's attorney uh, is saying this was a media leak strategy to stop leaks. Oh, to stop yeah, leaks? Yeah, and try to help Donald Trump, maybe. Oh, so they're Come congratulating on. them for Come not on. stopping now, the leak? <laughs> in fairness, there are uh, other texts and there are examples where they were managing the information and saying, wait a second. Like, for example, I think there was a Washington Post story that said the FBI agreed with the CIA conclusion months and months ago that the Russians were out to help Donald Trump. And I, I believe I saw at least one text message where Strzok is saying, no. 
we don't agree with the CIA. That's BS. And so to his credit, he was trying to right. change some. But the bottom line is they were doing attaboys at the end of 2016. There were text messages saying there's all kinds of stories about Trump and all this. And we were right all over it. Congratulations. And, and we Come knew on. that they were leaking to the media and then using those media reports to justify the and they're wire anti Trump stories exactly. and they're the investigators they're supposed to be fair now Kavanaugh really took it on the chin blindsided by an attack from who Diane Feinstein right and what happened here from an anonymous woman going back to high school big caveat we don't know what else is going to come out this week and so we don't we know, don't know what, what we happened don't know here. and if there's something there it should be investigated bottom line here's what we do know last minute it's anonymous it goes back to high school Diane Feinstein is under fire back home she has a, a tough Senate re-election the left is after she wants to please the left and she had a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Brett Kavanaugh and didn't raise it why, why didn't she have the guts to say it here's the other thing Keith Ellison yep he has an on-the-record allegation about him yep. about mistreating a woman double standard you hear Diane Feinstein talk about that all right Ed thank you very much up next, live from the center of the tropical storm, Diamond and...